Hey everyone, I'm West Gamgua Bosco, head teacher at Wisdom Center in Bungesera. Your son's teacher, okay? I'm again back, and at this time we move ahead. Yes, last time we looked at uh, uh, different activities concerning uh, cattle and goat keeping. We looked at uh, uh, breeds of cattle, majorly you saw the, exot the exotic breeds, the local breeds, and uh, the, the cross breeds, so called the hybrid which are three main group breeds of cattle, yes. And then uh, uh, from there, we specifically uh, talked about uh, breeds of cattle, majorly in exotic breeds, that we look at them in terms of uh, dairy production and, and, uh, and beef production, okay? Yes, so beef cattle and dairy cattle. So uh, for this time, we are going to look at uh, specifically beef cattle, and then we see how uh, we can go ahead uh, looking at uh, uh, animals or and more production, yes. So for this time, as we said, our topic is uh, beef cattle or cattle breeds, like looking at majorly those which are purposely uh, reared for meat production, yes. So we can, as we go ahead, we can say that uh, uh, beef cattle breeds are animals or breeds of cattle kept for meat production, okay? This is the main purpose for these animals. Yes, so looking at uh, examples here, we can have like uh, Abaden Angus, uh, talk, at, talk about the Hereford, okay, the Charis, okay, talk about uh, the uh, Shorthorns, okay, we look at the Galway. These are very good examples of meat producers. So they are examples of beef cattle. Oh, cattle were purposely for meat production. Yes, looking at uh, uh, different pictures you can see. Yes. So when we talk about uh, Abaden, Abaden Angus cattle, look at uh, simply we say these ones are originate from the countries of Abadinshire uh, and Angus. Okay. This is uh, in uh, northeastern Scotland. Majorly we find that uh, these cattle they, are, they have quality meat. Actually, they are the best in good quality of meat. So if you want to rear cattle for meat production, yes, go for Aberdeen Angus bull, okay? They are very good. Uh, so these can move to the next one. Those also cattle which can be kept for meat production, uh, we think of the Hereford. The Hereford is very good uh, in terms of meat production, you can see. Uh, if, okay, we can simply see where they come from usually. They are, they, are, they are goats from England, okay? In case you find, but they are immediately, at least now, they have spread the whole of the world, but it's just the origin. Yes, these bulls weigh over a thousand kilograms, okay? Just imagine. But they are excellent grazers, they have to feed so much. Yo, so if you want to rear animals, let's say cattle for meat production, Yes, you go for the Hereford, check. Look at the size. They are very large in size, okay? Yeah, so the Hereford bull, this is a Hereford bull. Look at the, the size, very big in size. Uh, in simple terms, this one, they take the shape of a rectangular shape, which I'll look at as we go ahead, types of cattle. Yes, you should start. So uh, this breed of cattle you can see is very good in terms of meat production. Uh, only that uh, you have to make sure that you feed them well because they graze so much they are good grazers uh, and then the third one okay yes if they if they the the, the child is cattle okay the child is it's a majorly got from france uh, even here in the areas in africa they have spread the men but the origin is france so these bulls if you compare the other side it was one thousand but the but the child is for them Actually, uh, they are more than the, 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 the Badins. These ones, again, if you compare, it's uh, over 1,200 kilograms, okay? Which they weigh. Yes, so they are high, they are of high quality meat, okay? Uh, okay, yeah. If you can check, look at its size, okay? They are big in size. They are also good in terms of meat production. They have high quality meat. And then, this can take us to the uh, short horns. These ones uh, originate from England, 
they have got short horns. You can uh, even see here. Uh, check. The horns are very short, okay, but also large in size. Yeah. This, if you compare uh, to the Abadina gas, the, the Hereford, uh, the Chelis, for this one, I find it at sea slow. Uh, it's 800 kilograms, uh, but also you can find this. That's also uh, good. It's also good in meat production. So I can see, so far, it's a huge size uh, compared, but uh, it's not, uh, uh, not as big as uh, the, the Abadins, the, the Chelis, it's also good. Okay, uh, but these ones, yeah, you can also rear them in terms of meat production. They are good for meat production. And then we can check the fourth one, okay? If you want to rear cattle majorly based on meat production, we have the ones which are called the gallery. And the gallery originate from Scotland, okay? Okay, yeah, major these ones are black with brownish tinge, okay? Yes, brownish color, okay? And look at it, say these bulls also overweigh over 1,000, okay, just like they are badins. You can see. Uh, and then these bulls also, yes, yeah, we can say uh, they have a long ear laps, okay, okay, yeah, which droop, okay. You can look at, uh, look at the size, okay, yeah, very, you can see they are very, they are very big, okay, look at the ear laps, okay. Very good, yeah. They are very, they are very big in size, and then uh, we can say here uh, they lack horns or uh, hornless. Yeah, they do not have horns. If you look at this, okay. And so this is a, a gallery bull, okay. And then this uh, can push us to the types of cattle. So uh, we looked at. Uh, breeds of cattle, basing on dairy breeds and uh, and the, and the beef breeds. We say that for dairy breeds, these ones majorly are kept for meat production, and then for the cattle breed, for the the the, the beef breeds are majorly the beef cattle are kept for meat production. We have seen them, so those are called the simply breeds of animals. So this can push us the types of cattle. The types of cattle, majorly, if I look at them also, we group them in types basing uh, on the importance or the purpose. Yes, so we can simply say here, a type of cattle is a class of cattle kept for a specific purpose. Yes, so these are basically in three types, okay? You can find that. Uh, there's the dairy cattle, the beef cattle, talk about the purpose cattle, yes. So back to the cattle here, we shall look at uh, these ones are majorly kept for milk production. Yes. Or when you go to the beef cattle, they are kept for meat production. And then when you come to the purpose cattle, these are kept for both meat and the milk production. Okay? Yes. Uh, so let us look at now a specific type of cattle. And we're beginning by the cattle. The dairy cattle here, as we said earlier, they are kept for meat production. Okay? And you can look at their characteristics. Yes, we can see here, uh, they have a thin body that carries little meat. Yes, if, if you compare to the dozens of beef cattle. And then uh, they have big udders with medium teeth and produce a lot of milk. Yes, talk of the fresh and talk of the, uh, the, the jersey. They are good milk producers. And then... And we can also move ahead and talk about uh, the shape. This dairy cattle, if you look at the shape, they have a triangular body shape and usually docile, or meaning they are humble. Yes. Uh, these ones, if you look at the shape, as we said first, it's in triangular shape. We're going to check on this. And then uh, you look at them, they are not all that jumpy, they are, they are humble or docile compared to the, the beef cattle. Yes. Uh, we can look at uh, the shapes here below. They can give us a picture. Yes. Uh, you can be given just a shape like this. Look here. Yes. This shape is in a triangular shape, as we said earlier, that uh, uh, the dairy cut to majorly the in triangular shape. Look at this shape here and compare this here. You can see, okay, the side larger and then uh, a closing end of the side. You find it is a, a triangular shape. Okay, so dairy cattle, 
with the triangular shape. This can help us to view quickly. When you're given this, maybe in the exams, you can be given such a shape and say, identify the cattle below. Simply, you can say, it's a diary cattle. Yeah. And then, you can look at the examples of diary cattle. Uh, simply, we can say the, the Frasians, the Aisha, talk of the Ganzi, uh, Jazzy. Okay? These are good milk producers. Uh, Jamaican hop and brown Swiss. Okay, these are from Switzerland. Yeah, these are very good. Okay, so in case you ask examples of the agriculture, simply you yeah, have the Frisian, the Aisha, the Jazzy, uh, Ganzi, J Jamaican hop, okay, from Jamaica, and then brown Swiss from, from Switzerland. And remember, among these, the Frisian is the best milk producer. Yes, so we said last time that this can produce over uh, 20, okay, 20 liters of milk and above per day. Some can be 36, okay, around that. So you find it's good. Then the Aisha, majorly you can find uh, uh, having like uh, 20 liters of milk, okay? Yes, talk of the Ganzi, 17 liters, the Jazzy, 14 liters of milk. So you find this is very good in terms of milk production. Then uh, that's. Uh, type of cattle, we talked about dairy cattle, then uh, next, next type can be the beef cattle, okay? Yes, so beef cattle, simply a cattle kept for meat production, okay? You want to rear cattle for meat, majorly, purposely for meat, then we go for beef cattle. Uh, looking at their characteristics will give us a clear view of these animals or this type of cattle, yes? Uh, and then, yes, so these cattle, before we look at the examples, simply, yes, we can say these cattle, look at the size, they're large in size, okay? Uh, for them, uh, the shape, their shape compared to the, to the, uh, to the dairy, for them, they have a rectangular shape. The dairy ones have a, have a triangular shape, but for the beef cattle, will be having a rectangular shape. Okay, because they put on more meat, uh, they are large in size. Uh, so, uh, looking at the examples of cattle kept for meat production, yes, remember we can talk of the Aberdeen Angus. Okay, you can see the kind of 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 uh, of kilogram they weigh. Yes, what I can talk about seven hundred twenty nine hundred kilograms, majorly. And then you go to the Hereford, they can weigh over 1,000 kilograms, you can see. Then you can go to the Chalice also here, also over 1,000, okay? This is very good also in terms of meat production. They are creamy in color. The Galway, okay? This is small and, uh, okay, uh, long-haired black. If you compare with the these ones, okay, less than 1,000 kilograms. And the American Beef Master, also good for meat production. Uh, these are examples of beef cattle. Simply, we can talk of the Aberdeen Angus, talk of the Hereford, talk of the uh, Chilalais, talk of the, uh, the Galloway, and American Beef Master. These are good meat producers. They are cattle kept for meat production. Yes, so as we talked of uh, their features or characteristics, you can say, we said, they have a broad rectangular shape, okay? And compared to the other one of milk of the dairy, which have got a, 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 tri a triangular shape. These have got rectangular shape, okay? They mature, they mature quickly and give plenty or high quality meat. This is very important. Uh, in case you want to rear uh, beef cattle, they grow quickly compared to the dairy cattle. Uh, they are very stubborn with the uh, with no horns. These animals, that's compared to the to the, the dairy cattle, which are docile, they are humble. These are stubborn. Yeah, so rearing them have to be careful, okay, to make sure you have protection uh, that you can't easily be injured. Yes, uh, they have thick muscles. Yeah, in terms of of, of meat, to have more meat, okay. Uh, so we can look at a, a shape here, illustration of a given shape. We look at uh, how it looks like. Uh, yes, you can be given. Look at uh, this animal here. Look at the shape. This animal is large in, in size. Okay, 
Yes, and then if you look at the shape, it's of a rectangular shape. Okay, that's why we can come to this side. You can be given the shape in the exams to ask you which uh, to, uh, to which let's say type of animals or type of cattle does this belong, or, or which cattle can be this. Looking at this shape, of this we can say this is a beef cattle. Okay, yeah, majorly kept for purposely, kept purposely for meat production. They are large in size. Ah, oh yes, so this can push us to the next type of cattle, uh, which is the purpose cattle. Uh, yes, this group of cattle is purposely kept for meat and milk production. So simply you can say, do purpose cattle are cattle kept for both meat and milk production? Yes, so if you need milk, you get, you need meat, you get. Uh, the only difference is that for the dairy cattle will be giving you plenty of mil milk. For the beef cattle will give more of meat, okay? Compared with this, they will, give, they will give you medium, but you get all. Then, so we can talk about here, you can see, uh, they are mainly local meat producers. Yeah, so you can find that, that uh, examples which shall include uh, the lock bulls also they are there. Yes, so simply, if you want to look at, look at examples of these animals, you can talk of the sahio is good for both meat and milk, okay? The smelto is good, this is the second example, is good for both meat and milk production, okay? Yes, talk of the, yes, the red pole. And yeah, this has a medium size with no horns. It's also good for me, both meat and milk production. Uh, we have uh, the milking short horn, okay? These don't grow fast like others, but produce hard meat, okay? Yeah, these are good for meat production. Yes, we can also add uh, examples like uh, uh, the zebu bull, or sorry, the zebu cows, okay? They're also good. These local, uh, local breeds, talk of inyambo, you can rear them for both meat and milk, okay? Talk of the brani cattle, yes. So when talk of uh, do purpose, yes, you can also give the examples of local breeds of cattle. They also uh, can also be reared for both meat and milk production, okay? But these are the best ones. Talk of which are can be best for both meat and milk will be the Sahel, uh, Smento, talk of, uh, of Red Paul, the milking short leg, short, short horn. Uh, these are very good. Yes, but don't forget local breeds, as we said, like uh, Inyambo, can rear them for both meat and milk. Uh, talk of uh, uh, the, the zeb, zeb, zeb cattle, so they are good, and the brownie cattle, they are good. Also, we can uh, uh, give examples of both meat and meat production. Yes, uh, we can have, look at it, no, have a note here. Uh, the purpose cattle, simply here, you can look at their features or characteristics. They have both, they combine both dairy and beef cattle characteristics. Meaning, uh, if you talk of withstanding the, the uh, harsh climate, uh, uh, diseases, they are good for that, okay? If you talk of producing milk, producing meat, they will be good meat and milk producers. So, majorly, uh, they combine, okay? Yes, they, they can have both characteristics of meat and the milk producers. So, here, you can even just get, uh, if you have a friend or you're alone, yes, you can just list, list uh, the features of beef cattle and those of uh, dairy cattle, you have got the characteristics of both of, of the purpose cattle. Okay? Yes. So this can push us to the activity here. And you have an activity here. Yes. Like given here, you'll have to do this in your free time. Given here, you can be asked uh, what do you understand by the term type of cattle? Uh, okay, which you looked at. Also looked at uh, list N2 types of cattle. We have seen this. Okay? You can, you need free time to answer this. Uh, you also given, can also be asked to identify the types of cattle with a rectangular body shape. Yes, which is that, okay? Uh, look at, uh, next number you can be asked, give it examples of dairy breeds of cattle, give examples of beef breeds of cattle, okay? Yes, name the common exotic dairy breed. These ones reared in our locality. Yes, look around. This is an activity you have to do. Yes, but uh, we can push on 
this will be done in your free time, please. In your free time, look at this activity here. Uh, having come to this, uh, uh, this will give us the end of our lesson. Okay? Yes, but remember, uh, COVID-19 or coronavirus is real. Okay? Yes, uh, it's uh, uh, causing people to die, people's lives, people are perishing, but uh, we still have a way of preventing. Yes, so we talk of this, uh, prevention is better than cure. So stay home and save lives. And uh, so I can say, uh, if you do, if you small one to uh, you there, make sure you get sanitizer, sanitize yourself. Okay? Yes, every time uh, you need to touch on any surface before, yes, doing anything, you make sure you sanitize yourself. Don't uh, shift your your hands into the, to the eyes. Okay? Touching your nose, your mouth. Okay? Yes. Make sure if you don't have a sanitizer, you wash your hands with water and soap yes keep a distance stay home to be safe avoid moving out and here that's why we come to bring to you lessons at your door when you're just at home uh, i wish you the best stay well